one day, this nation will rise up. The MLK holiday is America's way of saying like, we need to recognize the monumental progression that Martin Luther King was a part of, that the things from his marches to his speeches have had a great impact on legislation um, and the quality of life of African American people. It's a day designated to remind us of a, of a person that had vision, to see what America was during that generation to where we could be and should be uh, in future years. People of all colors gather together to fight for human rights and equal treatment of everyone, including myself and those that look like me. That constant uphill battle um, is what I kind of think of, that every day this man wakes up and he, you know, fights for change, he uh, makes speeches, um, and I, I think that he has to know that at some point something like his assassination is going to happen. So waking up every day with that burden on his shoulders, how much he had to have cared about his people and about the progression um, of our people, is, that, that's what I think about when I think of Martin Luther King. And it's a chance to kind of reflect on our growth since his time. Um, it's a chance for us to continue to inspire each other, challenge each other, push each other, remind us of, of where we've been, but where we need to go, uh, and also reflect in the mirror and, and see where we're at. And I'm thinking where we stand today is, a, is another opportunity to really look in the mirror to see where we are at collectively, but also individually. We came far, but we have a, a very far way to go. We've accomplished a lot, but it's so much more that we need to do. The concept of I am just as equal as you, it seems so simple, it seems like it's common sense, yet it's been marginalized into something so complex. And that's something I just don't understand, like why is it so hard? I think if you, if you were to look at a timeline of where we're at, you, we could probably, um, he would probably be very appreciative of the strides that we've made and the efforts we've made to get to where uh, his vision was and many of his, his uh, peers and teammates were uh, back in the 50s and 60s. Especially in 2020, when I look at the micro-military culture and I see the amount of African Americans in top leadership positions and even leaders of other races in top positions like that. As far as like where we uh, still have to go, we still have a lot to go to really be on an, you know, very equal playing field. And that's more in both military and civilian aspect. Where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I 